I have a lot of thoughts. Really, really effective. Hey guys, Andrew Berg here. I'm a jazz musician and teacher. Welcome to this episode, Down the PTS Rabbit Hole. So, Danger music video. Uh, this has been one of the most requested of their earlier um, songs to react to. I was really impressed with the uh, Too Cool for School album. Um, so yeah, it's kind of fun going back to some of their older music. Also, next week, I'm going to do something a little bit different. It's going to be closer to something in line with like the, the video I did about my stutter. I really hope you guys watch it. It's a video that means a lot to me. Um, putting a lot of time into making it. Um, and it has a really good message that I want to get out to a lot of people. I never really ask you guys to share or all that stuff that much, but the video next week, um, I would just really appreciate it. I'll put some more reminders and community posts and everything, but anyway, I appreciate you guys. Uh, let's get to the video. But before we get started, please like, subscribe, the notification bell, so we can feed the YouTube algorithm. All right, let's get started. Oh, that hair. Oh. Okay, that was pretty awesome. Man, this choreography is just sink right now. Okay, I'm like two minutes in and I haven't paused yet. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I need to get my thoughts. I have a lot of thoughts. Um, I actually probably want to go back and watch some more of this again. It's interesting, it goes for, it went from that like, um, harder hip hop kind of sound in the beginning into, um, I'm gonna say almost, I, I have a reason for saying this, but the like chorus of the song kind of, or that pre-chorus I guess that Jin is singing, it's very, very lyrical. It almost sounds like a like 90s boy band for a second. And the reason that is, is because of the chords in the background. Um, so the first, the, the difference between the first two chords you hear in that section, um, it's just going up by a whole step, um, which basically means like one note basically up. Um, and I thought that's like a super common thing to do in that style of music, which I think gives it that kind of boy band harmony chord kind of kind of thing right there. But it's the juxtaposition of that plus the like deeper, darker hip hop stuff before, that contrast is super, super cool. And I love just like, yeah, how it is, how the song has evolved and everything. Um, there was one cool chord thing I heard as well. Um, I think it was during like a pre-chorus or chorus, so I'm sure it'll come up again and I can, I can, I'll stop and, and bring it up then. Yeah, I want to go back a little bit. Okay, 
Okay, it's that part from uh, Jimin. Having that complete like break in the music and then having him sing like the hook coming into the next portion of the chorus. Really, really effective. Oh, I've said this so many times. I, even back when I had um, my former student Jordan reacting with me, him and I even talk about it, um, in that it's so cool when there's silence in music. Just a time where there's absolutely no sound being made and then it comes back in again. Because it adds so much tension and so much suspense. And if you do it right, like how Jimin just did leading up into that next chorus, it like hits so hard when you get into it. It just like makes that entire section feel so much, so much better. Uh, okay, let's, let's keep on going. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, I, um, these like raspy vocals that he did there, which I recently heard in Boys with Fun, he did the same kind of thing. Super, super cool effect on his voice. Or I don't say effect, it's, it's his voice, but super cool thing that he's doing with his voice right there. But yeah, also I want to go back just a second again. I know I've gone back a lot in this, but oh well. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go back a little bit because there's a cool choreography thing they did leading up into J-Hope section right here. Uh, super, super cool. Yes, so cool. Okay, um, Jin singing the pre-chorus right there. Um, I mentioned that there's a, a cool kind of chord thing happening. I don't know exactly what it's going to. I can't quite hear it enough. It's not enough in the background to hear the chord properly. Um, but the fact that he ends that first part of the phrase um, going down in his voice instead of up is what makes it not the traditional boy band thing. Like I was saying how the first two chords that feel the it's very similar thing in the way he's singing the lyricals kind of sound has that kind of like 90s boy band feel. Um, but then ending it the way he does, I think is what changes that um, along with again the entire rest of the song. But yeah, and then also during um, J-Hope's rap, um, there's a couple things in the bass line that are going on. It goes like, um, do, 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 do. But listen for that in the background as we go through um, some of the other sections and as we get close to the end of the song here. I'm curious if it'll come up again at all. Um, but if not, just go back and listen to it again uh, during J-Hope's rap section. I think it's really cool. <laughs> Not the piano! Thank you. 
What the piano do? Okay, that was a pretty cool music video. Um, I don't know why Jungkook had to destroy the piano. That was not part of the lyrics anywhere there. Okay, I, I, I looked at the lyrics ahead of time on Dual Set. I was also watching them throughout this thing. I don't know why he felt the need to destroy the piano. I feel um, emotionally attacked by that. Um, <laughs> okay, honestly though, um, Again, I just, I loved the, uh, the whole, um, the whole vibe, I guess, of the music video. Like, super hard hitting, um, kind of cool shots with, like, this super, like, synchronized dancing and everything. Yeah, I like this kind of, like, older, like, hip-hop infused, but still kind of still a little bit of the boy band flair, if you will. Um, which I feel like balancing that without having it be cliche, without having it be... You know, it's like they it still had to BTSify it, you know? Like, they didn't just stick to the one thing, um, which I think is why we love them so much and why their music is so interesting and has lasted for so long. Um, they're not just one-trick ponies. They do everything, and sometimes they'll do everything in just one song. Thanks for watching. My name is Andrew Berg. If you like this video and you want to follow me on this trip down the BTS rabbit hole, just please like, subscribe, notification bell, see you on the next time I post. Till next time.